Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chun. Have y'all got into Erin? Erin is a substitute teacher. Her husband works for the Defense Department. She has been caught in the back of a car with a young man that she should not have been with. Let's get into it. Child, Erin Ward is 45 years old and she got caught in the back of a car with someone she should not have been back there with. So Erin was caught this past Tuesday, right, with a student in the backseat of her car. She was formally charged by a school employee, right? And she's punishable in prison up to 20 years. Her bond was set for $25,000 with a 10% bailout. At this time, I'm sure she's out now, but she wasn't as of 3.25 p.m. on Tuesday. And if she gets out, she cannot have any contact with the victim or a minor for the rest of her life. Hold on. So she's scheduled for a preliminary hearing May 22nd. Um, she was arrested early Saturday by Douglas County Sheriff's deputies responding to a call regarding a suspicious vehicle parked on a dead-end road in the neighborhood. According to the reports, deputies saw two people in the back seat of a Honda sedan. One of them jumped into the driver's seat, attempted to flee from authorities before crashing the vehicle into a yard a few blocks away. Child, he ain't had no clothes on. So after the crash, deputies reported seeing a teenage male without clothes on exit the driver's seat and run. When they found him, he was only wearing... <laughs> underwear and a t-shirt girl what were you your grown old age self doing with a 17 year old she was arrested Erin was arrested at the scene of the crash right and while she's in the back seat putting her clothes on embarrassingly the authorities found an omaha public school id in the car ward told them she was a substitute teacher at burke high school and various other omaha metro schools Then she admitted to the deputies that she had the little bang bang with this person who was also a student at one of the high schools where she worked. Deputies determined the vehicle had crashed, belonged to Ward and her spouse. Now, mind you, Erin does not even have to work. Erin is a substitute teacher. Her husband, Doug Ward, is a high ranking government official who was recently appointed deputy director of the Commander's Action Group and senior nuclear deterrence advisor at the United States Strategic Command. It is a sensitive military installation, right? Just don't even have to work. Now this, <laughs> what, what goes on in the world? Girl, what would you do in the back of the top of that little boy? That is crazy. And Doug is at the house at 3 o'clock in the morning. Did I say that? Did I tell you that? It was 3 o'clock. Sir, you are 17. Where is your mother? This is crazy. Now, I'm sure he's got her out, right? I'm sure he's hella embarrassed, right? Now, now we got to weigh her fate. She may not get the whole full 20 years, but was it worth it? It's not worth it. And then you're going to have to have a sign in your yard for the rest of your life. This man probably going to leave this woman. And I think they got kids. Let's talk about it. It's your girl Millie Chun. Bye, y'all.